Hello everyone, it's Mindy from My Creative Scoop and I'm back with another video tutorial for Ellen Hudson. Today I'm going to be using this adorable stamp and coordinating die set called Holiday Characters and I'm also using my Distress Oxide inks to create the backgrounds. So I have this cute little snowman and I use my tumbled glass Distress Oxide ink to create the background. I added a little bit of water, it's a little difficult to see but so I can have that reaction with the Distress Oxide inks. This cute little elf I have using the Mode Lawn Distress Oxide, and this one you can see the water splatters a little bit better. I've also embossed my sentiment in white embossing powder, so that way it will really pop on that distressed background. And finally I have this Deer card using the Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. Again, the sentiment is, is um, embossed. So I use the Emboss Resist technique for this one, for all three of the cards actually. And finally, we are going to be coloring our Santa and creating the background using the Barn Door Distress Oxide ink. So let's get started. Okay, so we are going to be doing some Copic coloring in just a few, but first we need to do the distressed on our background. And before we do that, we need to emboss our sentiment. So another stamp set that I'm using that just was released is this Retro Holiday Greetings. And this is perfect for embossing because it has a nice thick font. So I'm actually going to be using the Merry Everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my card front into my Misty, and I'm going to center it towards the bottom of the sentiment. Let's go ahead and get that stuck on our Misty and ink up the stamp. Now you're not going to be able to see it until I emboss it, but I'm going to go ahead and ink it up twice. So that way it's nice and inked up, so that way I know that my embossing powder is going to really stick to the sentiment. So you should be able to no, oh, a little bit right there. So you could see it a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. And then let's take our embossing powder and go ahead and emboss the sentiment. Now it's ready for my heat tool. Okay, so now you can go ahead and see where it's embossed. So now I'm gonna get my Picket Fence life-changing brushes and we are going to add some Barn Door Distress Oxides to our background. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our Distress Oxide out. Get some ink on here. And I'm gonna start right by the sentiment and I'm just gonna go in this little circular motion. I want to have some areas that are a lot darker than the other so it just really kind of has this solid color tie-dye effect. But this is a great card to make where you're, if you're doing a mass production of different Christmas cards. And you can go ahead and just play around with the different color combinations for your backgrounds. You could do all one color, you could do rainbow, you could do, you know, candy cane stripes, you could do anything to really get a different look each time. Okay, so now that we are finished doing our background, I'm just gonna take a, pa a paper towel and just wipe the excess off of the embossed area and that's going to make it nice and bright again. So we'll set this aside and the next thing I like to do, I don't like using a spray bottle when I do my when I do my flicks of water on there. I just like using my fingers because I think it's it, I can get it a little bit more where I want it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of flicks of water and then I'm going to take my same paper towel and blot it off. Go 
ahead and wipe up my mess here. And now, since I want the white around my my sentiment to be really bold in the background to really make the sentiment pop, I'm just gonna touch up right behind the sentiment just to give it a little bit more deeper color, but you can still see the difference in where I've splattered the Distress Oxides. And we'll go ahead and wipe off the sentiment again, and it just makes it stand back out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff put away, and we are gonna be all ready to start coloring. Okay, so we are going to color our Santa. The first thing we're gonna do is color his skin. So I'm gonna start with my R32 and R30. And I'm just going to go right underneath his eyes and give him some rosy cheeks. Then I'm going to take my R30. And I'm just going to come out a little bit more. Don't worry if you cover up your eyes. We will add them with a multi-liner later. Now I'm going to take my E13 and add a shadow directly underneath his hat. and coming down a little bit along the side of his face. I'm also gonna add a little bit of a shadow underneath his nose and on the insides of his ears. And then I'm gonna take my E11, come down a little bit more, fill in each area where we added the E13 the first time and just come out a little bit more with each new lighter color. The next color I'm gonna be using is E00. And again, come out just a little bit more. By this time, your nose and your ears should be completely filled in because there's just not a whole lot of room there. I'm gonna go with my E000 and fill in the center of the face. And then we're gonna repeat that. So I'm gonna go back with my E13 in the same areas where I added it the first time. And then again with my E11. again with my E00. And one more time with my E000. So his skin is finished, so now I'm going to take a black multi-liner and just re-add his little eyes. And now we're gonna be using C0, C2, and C4 for all the white parts, so which includes on his hat and his beard. So I'm gonna start with my C2, and I'm just gonna come on each side of the hat, and also all along the bottom, and along the bottom of his little poofy ball there, and then I'm gonna go on the bottom part of the mustache, on both sides, and also on the sides of his beard, and a little bit in that little point. So now we're gonna go with C0, and we're just gonna come out a little bit more. Remember the trick to coloring something white is to leave a white space. We just wanna give it a little bit of a shadow. We do want to kind of outline, since I, I, and I failed to mention this, but I've stamped my image in Memento Desert Sand ink, so that way I can have that no line look. And I've stamped it onto my Copic Express It blending card, which is my favorite paper to use when coloring with my Copics. All right, so we're gonna deepen that shadow just a little bit more with our C4. So I'm gonna really concentrate and really try to get the outline of the image. So if it helps, just think of it as tracing the outline right now using this color to make it really stand out 
and I like to say, I call it my make it pop. So a little bit over here, not, not that much. And then also underneath the mustache, and a little bit starting to come down the sides of the beard. And we'll add a little bit in that point. So now I'm gonna go with my C2, and we're just gonna touch up that C4 just to kind of blur it out, so that way it kind of fades out that C4 so it's not so harsh. And this time I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow underneath his hat for his hair. Then let's take the C0 again. And I'm gonna do a heavy flick, still leaving all this center part white. It's just really gonna bring down that shadow and really concentrate on pulling the darker colors out and creating that blend. Oh, and I forgot to do the top part of the hat. And the ball. Okay, so now we are ready to color his hat. So for that, I'm gonna be using R59, R37, and R35. I'm gonna start with my R59, and right back here where the hat is kind of being tucked away from this part of his hat, we're gonna make a shadow over here. So it's gonna be a little thicker on that side. And then we're also going to create a little bit of a shadow starting to come up over here and all along this top part, because we want this white part to seem really fluffy and that it's coming out more than the hat, the, the, the back part of the hat. And then I'm gonna take my R37 and come out a little bit more with each new lighter color. So not a lot of room over there. And then I'm gonna take my R35. Get a nice blend right along the edge of that R37 before I go ahead and fill in the rest of his hat. All right, so he is all ready to be die cutted out. And I'm also going to take a stitched border die and die cut around the edge of my card front with our sentiment on it. I forgot about our little present, so let's go ahead and get out our blues. I'm gonna be making this present blue. So B14, B12, and B00, and also R37 and R35 for the ribbon. So I'm gonna start with my B14, and right along the bottom of the present, and coming up the center by the ribbon, is gonna be a shadowed point and then also right underneath the top part of the ribbon. Now I'm gonna take my B12 and just come out a little bit more. So continue going up the side and up the center, but also filling in some of the center as well. And then B00 get a nice blend right along the edge of that B12 and then fill in the rest of the present. Now I'm gonna go back with my B12, my middle color, and just get a little bit of a better blend on that B14. and then go back with my B00. And then I'm gonna take my R37. We're gonna give the ribbon a little bit of a shadow on the bottom and also in the center parts where the ribbon is starting to come out. And then we're gonna take our R35 and just fill in the rest of the ribbon I 
there we are. Okay, so now we're ready to do all of our die cutting. Okay, so everything is die cut. I placed some foam tape on the back. I just have to, I wanna add a little bit of white stitching along where I die cut the, the dots for the stitching. So I'm just gonna run my white gel pen all the way across. And just along the bottom here. All right. So now we are ready to add some foam tape to the back of our card front and place it on our card base. Okay, so my card is now complete. I have used some foam tape to adhere it to my card base. And now I have all of these really colorful, fun Christmas cards that I can give out this year. So I hope you enjoyed this card making tutorial and I hope you found it easy and inspirational so you can go ahead and get us a, a head start on your Christmas cards this year. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.